Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and it's finally time. You see, Creative Assembly have provided a early access build of Immortal Empires but battles only. This means that right now I can show you battles between Game 1, Game 2 and Game 3 races. I can show you custom battles but I can't show Immortal Empires campaign footage as I don't have access to it. It's that simple. This is battles only. But this is pretty cool as we are able to see new maps in general and a few different things so what I want to do in this video is showcase all the different minor settlements that you'll be able to see in the Immortal Empires because everything that's there is also available in custom battles as we're already much used to so with everything I'm just gonna be talking a little bit and then I'm just gonna have some music playing if you want you can easily just mute me and just put some music on in the background whatever the is better for you but I do want to talk about a few different things and that's what we're gonna do as you can see we've already been going over some Bretonian ones which look really really cool there's not that many for all the different races as it stands so then total for minor settlements alone this is just minor settlements there are 68 unique maps there might be more when the DLC comes out but the DLC is not part of this I don't even know what the DLC is just yet and obviously keep in mind that eventually as more DLC does come into the game, like say for example the Chaos Dwarfs and so on, we will start seeing more minor settlements and major settlements because they need to add in the architecture for all the different races. Now, I will be going through all of them mainly because I know a lot of people haven't really seen every single map that is available, so you're not just going to see the ones from Game 1 and Game 2, but you're going to see some Game 3 ones right now. We should be going over Cafe through my flyovers, and I'm not going to start any battles, so so that way you can see all the deployment zones and all that so it's just if you're not familiar or if you've just been waiting for Immortal Empires and even haven't played Warhammer 3 well here you go you can see all the maps and you can see what kind of damage you can do and all that now there's a few things I need to talk about uh, it's not a lot of maps in all honesty because 68 does sound like a lot of stuff but keep in mind that like 19 of those are actually ogre camps and the ogre camps are pretty much the same the only difference is just the scenery around them which I think in the future we will we'll get more maps you know time will progress and then they'll start adding in more minor settlements and all that keep in mind that yeah this is a beta so they're probably going in bit by bit but like there are races which have only one or two custom maps like the Vampire Coast really only has one as far as I've seen. This doesn't include the Siege settlements and all that, but that's going to be a different video because this one's going to be fairly long as it stands. I think it's about 40 minutes because I'm doing around 35 to 45 seconds on flyover just to show you all the different things. Yeah, there's not too much variety, but there is a lot considering that early on, there's going to be a lot of different enemies that you're going to be fighting, so you're not going to be fighting all the same factions all at the same time and there's so much areas with so many different types of enemies as we've seen for the immortal empires reveals that it shouldn't be tiring i would love to see more maps in the future however because variety is of course the spice of life we do have a lot of land battles though we do have a lot of subterranean ones the great thing is that there's a lot and i mean a lot of different types of maps from so many different locations but obviously attacking settlements is going to be something that's going to be very common now there is something that you're definitely going to notice and a lot of these races do share the same framework when you look at the settlements it's very much copy pasted the only thing that's different is just asset changes which i think is fine for the beginning of immortal empires maybe in the future we can start getting some more stuff which will differentiate but in general a lot of them look quite good i've been playing for those maps for a few hours and it's not bad i don't like the vampire coast one mainly because it's a little bit too much for artillery fire uh, you'll see it as you go into this. There will be timestamps in the description below, of course. But as you have seen, there are not that many. If you remember a while back, there was a data mine regarding some unfinished maps. Those are here, so there's not that many different. And yes, while I am sounding a little bit negative, I can heavily praise some things. Like, for example, the Tomb King settlements look really, really good. It's actually one of those ones that I've been just replaying battles on because I've been having a lot of fun on them. They look visually appealing. Same thing with the Bretonian ones, which, yes, they use a lot of the same framework as the um, Kislevite ones. Sorry, I just completely forgot there. 
but they're actually really, really enjoyable. Though the most visually impressive one will be the High Elves, and you'll get to that eventually. They're just really interesting. There are some really, really good ones, some which are just kind of boring, and I can be very honest, it's just like, ugh. You know, all the decisions are down there, so you can see there's like Chaos Generic, and Ogre Kingdoms, Ogre Kingdom Camp, and all that. So I would suggest going for the ones that you like to see, the ones that you're more interested in, and give me your thoughts. But honestly, this is a good step. This is a very, very good step. Keep in mind that they had to use a lot of the same frameworks because I can imagine that it's a lot of work to code for the AI to be smart here. Let's be honest, we've seen it in one 3 when it comes to the Realm of Chaos, that sometimes they can kind of derp out when going through certain walls and little areas that just uh, don't do well with pathfinding. However, they've been doing better in later patches, so I imagine that they've been waiting just to try and fix that first. Generally, I'm very pleased. I think that this will be a lot better to get more hyped about when eventually Immortal Empire's campaign footage starts coming out, because there's only so much you can show with like custom battles and so on, but I'm a big fan of the settlements. I know a lot of people don't like them, mainly because it's happening way too often, and it's going to happen a lot when it comes to Immortal Empires. I mean, what was it? 550-something settlements in the game, and there's likely going to be more, but... I'm I'm looking through them, I'm having fun just flying through them or just playing a custom battle, and I feel like it's a really good thing. I feel like this is a good step in the direction. We need more variety, though. They need to kind of just fix the issue. I, I, I don't like the thing with supplies and all that. I think it should have just been, and this is just me being very, very honest, just the settlement and let people fight in there, just duke it out, rather than turn it into a capture the flag situation, you know what I mean? But starting to see different racial ones is cool, and yeah, we've seen a lot of them because a lot of those races have already been in Warhammer 3 because the Realm of Chaos map does go into a lot of locations which we have a lot of Game 1 and Game 2 races, but this is adding for a lot more. Well, it's not really that much more, but it's nice to see those settlements because it just gives us a little bit of a cooler thing. Anyways, I'm going to let the music play out now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have the name of the settlement and the faction involved too. Keep in mind that just because it's named after like a major city doesn't mean that you're not going to see this map again. It's just one of those things. But until then, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you we have another video. We're going to do the major one too. Yeah, that's uh, it's going to be another long render in this summer heat. Uh, oh, guys, pray for me.